Welcome to Brandon Socket. Again, if you like this video, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. In our previous video, we talked about adding a co-buyer, and in this video, we're going to talk about adding people who have relationships with current customers. So, a great example, uh, my wife and I both exist in the CRM tool where we buy our vehicles, and so we are connected as husband and wife. And so here's how you're going to do that. In our previous example, we used Jaden, so I am actually going to jump over to Jaden's full profile. So I'm on his customer page and it turns out, you know, through investigation, I find out that Jaden's wife is Michelle. And so what I've done here uh, is I've clicked on the connections and I'm going to add a new one. And basically you just click add connection. First things first, I'm going to change the family member to spouse. Then I'm going to enter the first name. For some reason, it doesn't allow you to change that post. It quickly uh, searches it and you would have to add it under the connections tab. Just one little step that might save you some time. So I'm going to go Boudry. Oh, it's found some duplicates. View matches. Michelle Boudria. Click on it. And now it shows that Raiden is the father to Jaden. Michelle is the spouse to Jaden. And the last piece I want to do is just go to full profile of Michelle. And let's check on her connection. Jaden says spouse. So sometimes it will, if it, I had said Michelle was mother, when you click Jaden, it wouldn't say son, it would say mother. So you just want to update, you know, Jaden to Michelle. And in this case here, we might not, we might want to add Michelle's other connection. Previous video, we talked about Raiden being the father. So I could go Raiden. So I'll show you the other way. Alexander. 10 duplicates again. There's my Raiden. I click select. And so what that does is adds Raiden, but it doesn't give me a relationship. That's why you always want to select it first. So Michelle Boudria and Raiden. Raiden is her family member, father-in-law. I don't think we have an in-law here. So we'll just do aunt, uncle for now. Contact your CSM, customer success manager or support to add these different fields under the relationship on the customer field. So that's a real quick way to add connections. And whenever you create, so here real quick, Michelle comes in to buy a car down the road or a truck or whatever you're selling. And we need a co-buyer. We now have the ability to go into her co-buyer tab and use one of those connected people. So she's got two connections. So let's add a co-buyer. Add co-buyer. Hey, this customer has two connections. Want to make an existing connection a co-buyer? I sure do. Husband will be the co-buyer. And if you again, if you want to watch the video on co-buyers, click the link above. Thank you for watching. Again, subscribe, like, comment, and share, and we'll see you soon.